If you were... If you... The journey of the wise men went like this. He told their names. Their names. Larry, Josiah, and Jared. Shelly, Lucky, and... No, it's not. We'll go Dave, Hester, and Larry. <laughs> the wise men saw a great star in the east. That they... That they saw a star up high. They found the north star because they're star people. They go to the left about 20 stars over and go up about 50. And then it was right there. They saw the star and that happened right as Jesus was born. But they had such a long journey ahead of them that it took them until he was about two years old. I think once one guy saw it, I think he knew immediately what it was. I don't think there was a doubt in his mind of what it could be or what it meant. All of the wise men talked to each other about this star. Yeah, Jared found it first, and then they all thought he was crazy, thinking, nah, it's not going to be a star that leads us there. But Jared was right. Once, when he came out to the other two or the group of people he was with, he said, Jesus has just been born. They're, and they're like, well, how do you know? And then he just like, Come, I'll show you. There's this big star that, and it's been prophesied through all these pages that, so I think if, if people were paying attention and if they actually saw it, I think they would have known, but I don't think anyone was just paying attention to it at all. The, all the wise men went on a great journey to see Jesus. Just be long, hot desert through most of it. Um, either camel or donkey back. They probably traveled, they traveled a long ways. Well, a couple months into it, they would have been like talking to Jared saying, you picked the wrong star. Now we're going to have to walk five months that way. Stinking Jared. We're out of water and we're going to die. And then it was a, a couple of feet in front of them. They're just there. You know. They would have probably, some dude would probably say it first, how's my hair? I don't know. <laughs> where, where exactly are we? Where do we have to go? Honestly, I feel like they would just be like constantly asking like, uh, do we have enough food for this? Do we have enough water? Uh, are we there yet? Why are we even doing this? I feel like that's the kind of stuff they'd just be yelling at each other. Probably quite a few camels just to have enough water to be able to, to be able to travel that far through all the desert and stuff. They probably had caught by some rattlesnakes. First, they went to the palace and talked to King Herod. So there was this evil king lord person and he really didn't want Jesus to be in power and rule over the world. King Herod wanted to kill the baby, so he got a plan out for the wise men. He tricked them that he to bring the baby to King Herod, cause he, cause he didn't want a new, another king, and he wanted to kill the king. So we actually don't know. We're just gonna walk around and hope we find a baby laying somewhere. You can stay here. We'll tell you later. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back. It, it just might be a few years. You might not even be here. That's great, right? We'll, we'll come find you later. Yeah, yeah, just don't find us. We'll come get you, we promise. And then they're crossing their fingers behind their back, like, no, nope, must not happen. It's true. After that, they went to Bethlehem to go see Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. When they saw baby Jesus, they gave him all their gifts. Of course. And then they got to the baby, and they gave him the gifts. Three very special that were worth a lot. Mary, and they, uh, and they just put it, like, down by her, and Mary went through it and said, I got this and this and this and gold and myrrh and uh, and frankincense. That's the name, frankincense. Gold and frankincense and myrrh. Gold, because he was a king, myrrh uh, was a burial perfume.
Um, frankincense. I can't remember what that one is used for. That, that's been a question of mine. What, what did they actually do with those gifts? Did they, did they go and spend that gold? Did they, did they actually use that myrrh when he was buried? Did they do something with the frankincense? I, that's been something I've always wondered. I think that um, it would be helpful for the baby, but I don't think the baby would use it when it was tiny. They got the gold, the frankincense, and the myrrh because they wanted the baby to smell nice, of course. He was going to be a king, so they needed to get him gold. And I don't really know what the other one is. I would bring him with di some diapers. diapers and wipes. Um, you would, I bet they said, like, they came there to see the baby, and then Mary would have been, like, confused on how they got there and found them after it's been like a couple months. Mary would be like, oh, um, I, do I know you guys? Um, well, I would probably slam the door back on their face. And if they try to come back and like open the door and they come in, not just no, they're not staying in my house. You You're really just showing up at the person's house with money, with gold, and you're like, hey, show me the child. She's just like kind of standing in the corner and just like being like, are you gonna touch my child? Are you gonna take it? 911 on speed dial. Like Joseph, go watch the door, just. I feel like, I feel like even at that young age, Jesus knew what was going on. Um, Mary, I think she might've, I think she might have known because of the message from the angel. That could have just been something that was said, but we it wasn't put in scripture. Joseph, I feel like he probably didn't know that they were coming even when they got there. He's probably like, okay, that's, that's cool. We're rich now. I'll take it, but like you're not having my child. So how about like you just go home and I'll take it all? Because it just makes sense like that. Target run, let's go with the Ikea too. In a dream, the angel told him not to go back to Harriet. His response would have been, I'm going to send a bounty hunter after those three. This is the way. On their journey home, they were with an angel that appeared. And the angel said, don't go back there. Run away as fast as you can. I'd be really like scared and not know what to do. And it would just be like a really like tough time because. The entire time, everyone would just be thinking, how are we going to avoid the king? And just worrying that they're like not going to make it back. And if they do, that they're going to be hunted down from the king. He, was, he wasn't a nice guy. And so. I feel like if he really wanted to, he could have, he probably did still have men looking for them throughout their whole lives as long as he was still king. So I don't think that relief ever really went away. I think, I think they always lived in fear of, is he going to come after us and kill us or take us hostage or whatever? And this was the wise men's journey to Bethlehem.